And so we return to more toad hacks. My controller would work properly. There we go. We return this time. Taking, taking flight. If I hit the ground, does that hurt? No, it doesn't. All right, cool. Can I just shoot like infinite bullets? Oh, kind of. I mean, the sound keeps going, but so if I hit this, no. I guess I guess I would just get crushed. What's with the random horsies? Oh, that hurt. Well, that sucked. It's like random red horsies just kind of chilling out. So I guess I'm kind of stuck here for the time being. <clears throat> A little stuck in the plane. This kind of reminds me of Sonic. That Sonic level. I don't remember which Sonic that was. I think it was Sonic 2. Where he got into the, to the plane with tails and took to the sky and ended up in space before Jason did it. Friday the 13th. That was kind of that that seahorse he gets he gets a lot of stuff he can he can shoot his load pretty quick upon exit of the water which I don't appreciate I mean, this is this is neat and all but I don't know I, I never really like scrolling levels it takes uh, it takes a good scrolling level to make it good like it just can't be any old scrolling level I guess the scrolling levels from Super Mario Brothers 3 were pretty good I mean, I like those, but that was like, there was a lot of gaps and stuff, and I don't know, a lot of times you find scrolling levels in, in a game like this, like a hack of this, it's usually something like this, where there's not a lot of, uh, not a lot of gaps. Oh, there's a free life down there. Well, sucks to be me. But, uh, yeah, what was I? Yeah, I, a lot of the scrolling stuff in Super Mario Bros. 3 ended up having a lot of platforming stuff, and... There were a lot of those little uh, Cheerio platforms that would fall out if you stood on them too long. There wasn't any slowdown either. There was exactly zero slowdown. I like how we just shoot freaking cannonballs out of this plane. This is... They're, they're not affected by gravity or anything. Don't worry about that. They, they defy the laws of gravity. But then when we move into hacks like this, we get pretty much a really safe, slow adventure throughout the level. And we're done. I really hope all of these levels are not flying levels. I really, I really hope that much, at least. Hurry up, Toad. I know that plane can fly faster than zero miles an hour. Jesus Christ, man. Let's get a. No, at least the music is nice on the overworld. Please don't tell me it's a flying level every level. Thank you. All right, see. Let's see. Notice, fly high up to the sky, but don't fly too high. Watch your jumps. So, oh. Gravity is uh, gravity is a little bit lessened here. There's there's not as much gravity. So now we're affected by gravity. There's also these cool little. Uh, well, we have the the stupid paper bags or the plastic bags. Sorry, the little plastic bags jumping around, flying around. I should say them. That's cool. They're, they haven't they haven't made a return in a while. I like this higher jumping thing. That's pretty cool. Too bad you can't. I don't think you can kill the stupid cannon. Nope. No, you cannot kill the cannon. Leap of faith. All right, good. So today is my Christmas thing, because my family, some of my family, had work on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, so we had to reschedule, set it up on a day where more people were available, and that day happens to be today, which I think today is the 28th. I think. Never good with dates anymore. I used to be pretty good with dates, and then uh, you know I didn't have to go to Target anymore, and I didn't have to be up for anything. I didn't have to be like, oh man, I work on the sixth. Well, I better remember that. Oh man, I work on the fifth. Well, today's the third. I work whenever the fuck I feel like. The only time I really know when like a day, a specific date is coming up is when a game comes out, and I'll be like, yeah, that's Tuesday the fourth. That's when so and so comes out, and then for the next few days, I'll know. I'll know what day it is. I don't know specifically what day it is, and then I just lose it again until another game comes out. That's that's my life. So this would be this would be good for a scrolling level. Oh, we still have the awesome gravity. Yeah, this, this would be cool for a scrolling level. Oh, he's got the. It's very Mario One like. <clears throat> the platforms actually move up and down when you when you stand on them. I'm guessing they're probably like reskinned uh, the mushroom things. They're probably just resprited. Cause that's like that's the only thing I can think of that has that property. But then again, he hacked an airplane in, and there's also some custom bosses and stuff. So, I mean, that could be something completely different. But that's the only thing that really has that type of 
property in the game, you son of a bitch. Stepped on my face. Don't appreciate that, especially when I lose my power up and then miss the flying plastic bag. Damn, pollution has taken its toll. Plastic bags are taking to the skies and taking the skies over. And then those things, like the mini plastic bags, I don't know what the hell they are. Oh man, what did that? Nope. Toad's got hops up here. Toad has some hops. Which is good. I don't know what this music was, but whatever. It was very sky like, I'm sure. I am sure it was very skylike. Speaking of having to work at Target, I had a dream that I was working at Target the other night. So that was not fun. But I lasted about an hour before I abruptly quit, so that's that's a good plus. I was like, fuck this. It seems like a lot of my dreams that involve me back at Target, I've realized that I do something else. Wow, that bag's trying to get me from behind. I realized that I do something else and I usually quit in my dream. I'm like, fuck this shit. Why the hell would I stay here? Like, screw this. I'm leaving. I'm out of here. And then they all get mad and I don't even put my two weeks in. It's my dream, man. I can do what I want. I need to have some of those lucid dreams. Those things are those things are cool. If you don't know what a lucid dream is, at least I'm sure that's... At least I'm pretty sure that that is the, uh, the term of it. It's when you have a dream and you realize it's a dream and you can control it because, you know, it's... It's a dream, so it doesn't doesn't have to abide by any laws, and you can just do whatever the fuck you feel like doing in that dream. Unfortunately, I haven't had them too much. I can only remember like a couple. I can only remember a couple of them, which sucks. I wish I could train myself to do it, because then I could just go to sleep and be like, cool, what do I want to do today? What do I want to do today? And I could just do that. That would be good. At least we haven't gone back to the airplane. At least we haven't had to deal with the slowest scrolling level in the world. Good lord. I don't feel like it. However, these levels have been pretty similar-ish. I mean, you have the plastic bags flying around, you got some Leap of Faith, you got the cannons. I don't even know where the fuck those cannons are. Or where they're from, I should say. Apparently people, some people got little bit mad bro that I called Balrog, whatever the hell his name is, called him the Brave Little Toaster. Clearly, clearly some people don't like jokes, do they? They come for accurate information when I play hacks. They don't want anything else. They want music named accurately, they want enemies named accurately. No joking. People can't joke when they play video games. What do you think this is, a free world? This is a communist world. You can have no fun. No fun at all. Above the sky, six. Oh no, it's shooting star. Shooting star. Shooting star. Oh, look at this. This is like the plane. Kind of. Except for it's like. It's like one of those old, uh. I guess vertically scrolling shooters. I don't, I don't know the exact term, but usually they were kind of hard. Well, they were. They, they ranged from being, I guess decently like easy to being just batshit butt fuckingly hard and I know there are some really batshit butt fuckingly hard uh, scrolling shooters oh man I'm dead that sucks they suck I don't I don't play those too much cuz uh, I don't I don't want to get raped like this can chain chomp being a douche I know uh, I know there's a couple people who play them I never really got into them. They can be they can be very difficult, yet very rewarding, I suppose. You know, if you're if you're good at them and and you can do everything and be fine, then you're good to go. However, I I'd, I'd rather just do something else, like Mario hacks and Skyrim. I can't even I can't even shimmy past this guy. He just shoots out and kills me. That's great. It's the best. I love it. I mean, he's got some neat ideas and stuff with this. I mean, you don't you don't see this too often in a Mario hack, so that's cool. I mean, this this was definitely better than than the old airplane one, where you're just kind of in a scrolling level. That was definitely neat. Ah, I guess that'll mop that up as well. The levels are actually rather short. We got pretty much the whole world done in one video. Minus the castle, and that'll probably be like maybe a third of the next video. But whatever. 
When we come back, we'll do castle number five. Not sure if this is a full hack, but if it's not, then we're probably getting very close to mopping it up.